Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Drew. This is Just a Guy Linux on YouTube. And I have a confession to make. One, um, I've completely messed up my uh, regular production machine. So after I did my Qtile um, tutorial, I really liked it. So I put it on my production machine, that and my BSPWM that I love so much. And after mixing way too many packages between Debian stable and Debian unstable, it just ceased to work. And it's my own fault. I, I granted it's my own fault for tinkering too much. Um, so I'm going to have to wipe it and start anew. So after using the laptop uh, that I have for a day, which is when things went afoul, uh, I've decided I, I need to get on this right away because uh, I really like using the desktop with the, uh, with the monitors that I have set up. So anyway, I have been watching uh, Jake at Linux, which uh, all of everybody should, and have been noticing that he has switched to the DK uh, window manager and it looks really good to me. I mean, not to mention, I mean, it's kind of like DWM, it's kind of like BSPWM, it's kind of, and so because of that and not using Python, uh, I, I think I'm all about it. So I'm gonna try and do that really quickly. So what do I have right here? Uh, this is my, uh, this is a brand new machine, uh, test machine rather, with just Debian 11.7, uh, the newest version of Bullseye on it. I wasn't really sure which version I wanted to put on uh, my, my regular machine, uh, you know, my production machine. Uh, so I opted just to go stable and I really gave it some thought. Do I go testing? Do I go unstable? Um, we are really close to the uh, release of Bookworm or Debian 12 currently scheduled for June 10th. And the heart, the uh, full freeze will be like three weeks from now. Um, and then they probably won't do anything new. They'll do some bug, bug fixing and the goal is to be ready for release June 10th. So I'm just gonna get use, uh, and I, like I said, I probably will update to um, Bookworm when it's, you know, when it is stable. So I'm gonna go with what I have right now, which is Debian bullseye stable. So I will change it up slightly. Uh, I am gonna use, like I said, the stable uh, packages, but I am gonna update the kernel to Debian SID. So what do we got right now, actually? So 5.1.0-22. So anyway, I'm gonna do that as well. Um, now, I won't do that until after I probably have built everything or installed everything, um, and then I'll do that. But I also will put in kind of like a, 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 a marker for myself. This is when I will install NVIDIA drivers. Um, it's a little tricky sometimes with Debian because you want to make sure that you have the headers um, so anyway, let, let me, let's just get started. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sudo, uh, apt install xorg. Okay. Now I'm, I might pause because this is probably not that interesting to a lot of people. Um, I will, you know, I'll try to keep things moving as quickly as possible. Um, but, and I probably should use the script, <laughs> like one of the scripts that I've written, but I just, I just wanted to get started, I guess. I could probably, you know what, I could probably modify the uh, BSPWM script. That might be the smartest thing to do, but I don't know, sudo apt install. Uh, let's do, an, let's just get the microcode in. Good grief. Okay. Wow. Yeah, I might have, I might have been better off just doing it. Let me go ahead and clear, clear. 
Um, so I'm going to install Build Essential. Okay. Now these are things, you know, regular packages that no matter what you're going to have to do to install uh, any type of window manager. Um, a lot of people will just put on a, <clears throat> excuse me, they'll put on a, a desktop environment and be done with it. <laughs> I don't blame them one, one little bit. I just am, it's so weird, but I've been really like enjoying recently uh, using, and when I go to my laptop, which uses a desktop, uh, environment it's um, it's like oh crap I hate this <laughs> so uh, sudo apt install dialog um, m tools uh, dos fs tools um, avahe daemon and then I want acpi acpid gv fs backends and let's stop there. If things take a little too, I might pause just while something like is being installed just so that it won't be so time consuming. Like now, <laughs> like like now, would have been a good idea, right? All right, I'm gonna go and control L and say sudo uh, system ctl enable uh, avahi daemon. These are things that I do for me. I don't know if everybody needs to do this, but um, it just so happens that when I don't do it, it doesn't work well with my network and picking up my um, my NAS drive. So anyway, I'm going to um, install, you know what? Um, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna install Thunar. I, I just can't not do Thunar. Um, Thunar archive plugin and Thunar volman and file roller. Um, is unzip part of file roller? I'm curious. I don't know if it is or isn't. Now, I I was learning about um, Debian 12 release, and uh, I am going to install Pulse Audio instead of Pipewire. I, it's, it's like a crutch. I don't want to mess with anything that might not work. So, okay. Now I'm going to, um, let's install a, let's make sure we install a couple terminals. Um, Tilix and uh, let's just let's just use Tilex for now. Okay, so let's also install Pulse Audio and uh, also Utils and Pavu Control. Eh, control, and that should be good. And um, what else? Let's say LX appearance. And Neo fetch. And 
in let's um, let's say sudo apt install um, network manager and uh, network manager gnome let's get a browser in real quick let's uh, sudo apt install firefox I mean, what version is this? Curious. Uh, it doesn't tell me. Maybe, oh, right there. It's 102.10. Actually, I think that's the same as what's on unstable right now. So there's really no reason to use the unstable version. Um, so let's sudo apt install fay. Um, let's put a few other things. I'm not going to install cups, but I will install sudo uh, apt install exa and micro. Just trying to think what else would I need. Um, let's get a, a few fonts in. Um, fonts, font awesome. And then let's say uh, fonts Viracode. And fonts Ubuntu, fonts, um, I think Liberation 2. Okay. And let's install sudo uh, the stuff that we're going to need for just to make it like usable. So um, as far as um, start packages, so I need um, D menu probably. So suckless tools, and then I need um, SXHKD and Pycom and Rofi and Dunst and Genie and libnotify bin. Um, I can install BSPWM while I'm here, huh? You know what? I think I'm going to do that. I'm just going to install BSPWM. I mean, that's all I need to do. So Genie also. Did I install? Oh, no, I already put Genie. Um, but I want to put Genie plugins. No, nah, I'll do that later off camera. Um, I think that's all I need for right now. But I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do. I mean, I'll have BSPWM, but I'm not going to actually like use it on camera. Um, so I want to install. Let me clear. To do, uh, install LightDM, and I mean that's all I need. You know what I want to install also, let me do it once this is done. So sudo apt, I don't think I did, install uh, zram tools, uh, git curl, um, yeah I didn't put a swap file in this so let me, let me do that real quick. So sudo micro, since I installed micro, uh, default. Uh, zram swap and then I'm going to take this out and take this out and make this 25 percent and that's good um, okay oh one thing I didn't do is uh, pseudo system CTL enable light DM okay I'm really fighting the urge to install, go ahead and install BSBWM um, simultaneously. Um, 
man, will anybody mind? Okay, let's let me let's just get this uh, finished. So I want to uh, XDG. Um, is it? Uh, I always forget. It's no, it's user uh, ders update. Okay, that way. Yeah, then we get all of our stuff. Okay, let me. I had to start stop recording for a second simply because I was making too many typing errors. So what I want to do is uh, I wrote a real quick dk.sh script. So let me show you what that looks like just so that it, I can sh do this simple installation without really embarrassing myself. So you need five um, you need five dependencies to um, to install DK. It's not that bad, you know, one, two, three, four, five, and it's really, really quick. And I'll put this on my, in my uh, scripts directory on my uh, GitHub. So anyway, um, you can see what it does. It installs the five dependencies. It clones um, the, it, it git clones the packages needed from a Bitbucket. And then we go in and we make and we sudo make install. Very DWM-ish. Okay, so let me go ahead and close that. And we're going to um, we're going to dk.sh. Oh, boom! And look at this. I want to show you real quick. Look at oh. Uh, right above the blinking cursor, it says install uh, dash dm644 dk.desktop into the user share accessions directory. Now that's really cool, simply because um, a lot of times you have to like act create your own desktop file, and and the uh, and the developer has done that for you. So that's really nice. So when we log in. Uh, it should, DK should be one of the options uh, on LightVM. All right, um, I think what we need to do, all right, the next step is to copy the configuration files. So I am going to uh, mkdir, and we need the parent switch, and we're going to uh, the dot config, and then uh, DK. And then we need to copy uh, user local and it's share doc dk uh, dkrc and we're going to put that in the um, dot config uh, dk and then let's go ahead up one and I think we just need to get the because uh, HKD RC now let me, let me just say this for a minute I've watched a video recently about and it was a very popular youtuber basically kind of poo-pooing the idea that uh, configuration files should only be one and um, and for me as a non-technical person I actually really like having modular type of configuration so like BSPWM so you have a BSPWMRC you have a key bindings file managed by XXHKD you have a bar a lot of times that is managed by polybar and granted it's a little bit you know there are points of failure there but I enjoy actually small components rather than one big long configuration. So that's just me uh, on my soapbox for a sec. Okay. Now, um, let me go into, uh, let's look at these configuration files real quick. So I'm going to the, uh, let's go into the config and I want to do the XXHKD. Oh no, it's going to be in DK. I want to look at this real quick simply because, um, oh, dummy. All right, so micro and SXHKDRC. All right. Okay, so the alt is the default. Okay. Um, 
I'm not liking that. That's just, again, a personal preference. So what I want to do is change all the alts to super. So in micro, which is what I'm using, I can go uh, control E and say uh, replace all and then alt and then super. Okay, and it changed 23 things. Okay, so that's, that's perfect, all right. Um, it also uses the ST terminal. Uh, we have Tilex installed. And I'm actually going to take off this shift just, just for myself and, and just say use super return, okay? So super P for D menu run and super return for Tilex. And let me just, one more thing, just because I want to. It's uh, escape. Oop. And that's control S. Oop, did I hit control A? I meant to hit control S. There we go, save and quit. And that's all we need to do to get started And I th unless we need something from the uh, DKRC. So it's looking for SXHKD RC in the DK uh, directory, config DK. It's got initialized 10 workspaces, perfect. I don't know that it's going to have a any type of bar to begin with, so that's fine. We don't need a bar right away. And I think that's all. Yeah. This is this is easy. I mean, not I mean, it's brilliant the way it's put together. Okay, so I'm going to control Q and let's reboot. <laughs> if I can spell reboot. All right, we did a lot without rebooting. So Now again, I don't if someone watches this video, uh, I appreciate it. A lot of times I am learning stuff so I don't for and, and learning to the point where I don't want to forget anything. So I actually put it on video so I don't forget how to do something. Okay. Oh, let me make sure. So it's I put in BSPWM. It's not even set up. So I'm just going to use DK and DG and log in. Okay, so no bar. It's going to be very BSPWM in that there's nothing there. But if I hit super enter, super enter, super enter, how about that? Really good. Cute. And let me go ahead and this is terrible. Let me change this for you real quick. Uh, preferences. And let's look at the color and let's go ahead over here to solarize dark nope how about monica how about that let's use that for right this second okay and let's get this larger free wow all right nice and light okay I'm going to suggest if you are an NVIDIA uh, user like me to uh, sudo um, apt install uh, NVIDIA detect, gee whiz, I don't think it, it hurt, doesn't hurt anything for me doing that right now. So even if I run NVIDIA detect, there's no, there's nothing there. Now, if there was, again, this is for me for, to just remind me to do it at this point. Um, if there was something, it would suggest the um, the video driver that you uh, in the Debian repository. So in the Debian packages. So with for mine, for example, um, it's just going to say NVIDIA hyphen driver. So I would say sudo apt install NVIDIA uh, driver and then that would be it uh, I'm not going to do it obviously because there's no need to but that's this is where I would do this particular um, installation at this point I'm going to set up um, Debian SID kernel 
on this machine. So I'm going to uh, sudo micro and then Etsy uh, apt and then sources list. Okay. And I'm going to add one line here. Okay. And it's going to be deb uh, HTTP colon slash slash um, deb dot Debian dot org and then um, slash Debian slash and then space unstable and main and non free and contrib okay and that should do let me check my work and it looks good to me and then I'm gonna go ahead and save and quit okay now obviously um, I don't want all of the packages I just want the one <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is um, I'm going to sudo micro goodness sake Etsy uh, apt and then preferences okay now okay so what I did was I uh, off camera I typed this very carefully <laughs> um, so that it would not I would not have a lot of mistakes so anyway this is the Etsy apt preferences file and what it's doing is it's basically prioritizing everything in the in bullseye over everything uh, in unstable except for one thing which is the kernel okay so it will uh, it will only take the kernel from uh, Debian SID so what I'm going to do is I'm going to quit and so now when I sudo apt update there should be only one thing that needs to be upgraded and that is going to be the kernel so let me uh, let me say so apt just so you can see uh, lib list upgradable and there it is there's the kernel okay so let's sudo apt update upgrade sorry You know, when I look at stuff like this, this firmware stuff, I'm wondering if um, if I should also take the firmware from uh, testing as well. But I'm not going to. So anyway, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and clear. And I think, I don't know if I need to sudo apt uh, auto remove. Just curious if, that, if there's something that needs to be. Okay. Now, also, if you have an NVIDIA driver, uh, sorry, if you have an NVIDIA card, I would recommend doing this. sudo apt uh, install uh, Linux headers AMD64. And then um, I would take this from unstable, okay, to match your kernel. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, even though I don't need to probably. Um, but I think it's an important, um, I think it's important if, especially if you are using Debian, uh, I will say yes. Sorry if I said Debian in my head, I said, in my head, I said NVIDIA. Um, so anyway, I don't think there's anything wrong with doing this. Let's put it that way. Okay. So if I sudo reboot, I just want to make sure everything works correctly. Okay, cool. 
least we can boot up, right? So we are in DK still. And good. I think we're good, right? So let me blow this up. And do we have NeoFetch installed? I'm not even sure. Yeah, we do. Okay, so it shows the kernel. And it sh it's showing memory of 405, which I think is really light. Um, this looks great, you know. Now I'm not I'm not real a big fan of this type of stack. Now if you are, uh, this is awesome. Um, what I want to do is pause for a minute, and I think I want to try to install Polybar and a couple things, maybe maybe some uh, themes. Just so that, and come back and show you what I've what I've learned. Okay, thanks. Okay, we're back. It's been oh, it's under an hour for sure, um, and I've learned quite a bit. I don't say like I'm like overstating big time now. Uh, I've learned a bit <laughs> about DK, and I wanted to go back and give some credit, more credit, because this is outstanding. And when I saw the videos on Jake at Linux, now I I'm a I'm a big fan of Jake at Linux. He's phenomenal. Um, when I saw this, I thought to myself, it looks really good. I, that's why I give it a shot because Jake says so. Anyway, um, I'm really, really impressed. And this is going to be awesome on my production machine. So um, let me show you a couple things real quick. As far as the... Um, layouts are concerned. I was afraid that they did not have a column layout, okay? But you can change the settings on each layout to make it kind of seem like the way I would want it. And that would, so basically I only need like three columns and then I can start moving stuff around. That's my preference. Um, and so what I've seen is and when you start playing with stuff let me go over to workspace one okay um now on this i've changed the dkrc file a little bit i've included a uh, four different auto starts dunce pycom changed the bot the wallpaper and then i've got polybar ready to go i just haven't installed polybar yet um and so I am going to look for this right here. So it's, you. I think you can have as many workspaces as you want. Uh, 10 is fine. Uh, and I have these set up for the workspace names. Now, this is really what I want to show you though, okay? Workspace 10, by the way, this is default. So like if I go over to um, workspace 10 and I open up terminals, you know, it, it puts things in a grid, which is really cool. But let me, and let me, let me go back over to one. And what I like about it is I can say master one. So I think the default was stack three, um, but I wanted to split it a little bit differently. Uh, I wish I could remember honestly what the, uh, what the splits were on a uh, default, but like if I go to a clean workspace now and I start opening uh, windows, it gives me kind of like the column that I want for my workspace. So to me, this is exactly, this is perfect, okay? Uh, so when I go back over here, um, this, so you, you can accomplish that by really just changing the layout and playing with the master number, the stack number, and so on. It's, this is fantastic, it really is. All right, let me switch over to the XXHKDRC. Now I've modified this, okay? So that, you know, I've got my, my uh, launchers going, you know, obviously this was already here, you know, the super P D menu run. I did, I usually put super space for Rofi, but he's using super space um, somewhere. Um, let me think. I think it was like, yeah, right here. Super space. So he uses super Q to kill, which I do all the time. Super space for swap. 
and super tab for cycle. Now I don't necessarily need a swap. I can just use cycle. So I might take the super swap, uh, super space out and take out swap because let's, let's, let me just say, all right, I'm gonna open up another thing and I'm gonna go uh, super space. So it's just swapping the two. But if you hit super tab, it swaps them both. Now, if there's three things open and you hit super, it's gonna only take the master and the, um, the active window and swap those two. But if I use tab, I can just cycle all of them. Okay, does that make sense? So anyway, awesome. Let me close this. Now, a couple things also that you should know. I put a couple things in so that like super escape, so that I know something is, has actually reloaded. Um, same thing for DKRC. Like if I hit super shift R, you know, it says DK has reloaded. I just put those in just so that I know it had reloaded. Actually, let me, I'm gonna turn this overview off. Let me, uh, plugin manager, and I'm gonna turn overview off. Yeah, okay. Now, when you, uh, I wanna show you this, what he's got going. Um, I am, I'm gonna use these a little bit more just so that I can see, but it's like super T, super R, and so on. Um, so those are the, the, you can change the layouts on the fly, but I am really kind of really like blown away by, um, I don't, I'm fumbling so it, cause I can't, oh, right here. There we go. Uh, by the way, that's not, that's not supposed to be there. Um, uh, I put that in, it's not necessary for right now. Um, so super, there we go. Now when he says like, normal if you hit super one it goes to workspace one if you are on that likes to say you know we're in genie now and if i hit super shift one it's going to go it's going to send it to um, the first workspace but if i hit control super control one it's going to follow you so you can like say oh i want to move this over so a lot of times you actually have to like hit the button super shift and then send the application to a different workspace and then I hit super and then the same number again so super shift one now you can just hit super control one I'm already on one so super control three and I'm on three so I mean it, you can't tell but like if there's anything open like super uh, super control yeah like that so I sent it to and a workspace that already had something uh, on it. So now I can just say super control one and it's on its own workspace and it followed it. So that's phenomenal, man. Um, so I am, like I said, I am a little bit of a fanboy right now. Uh, I'm gonna open up the terminal. I am going to install now, Here's one of the things, let me go back over to Super uh, 2 actually, Super 2. Um, I'm gonna go open this and show you that Polybar um, in Bullseye is 3.5.5-1. If you're looking in the back ports, it's 3.6.3. It's the same for Bookworm, it's the same for Sid. So actually, I'm gonna install Polybar using um, using SID. So let me go back over here and say uh, install polybar and then uh, dash T unstable. This is where I get in trouble, right? Okay, so let me close that and let me show you my poly bar real quick before I even do anything. Oh, that's not even the right space. So here we go. I have config. And it's just a normal poly bar. Um, there, it uses X workspaces. Um, so if you are a Herb's Luft uh, WM user, uses workspaces too. I don't know what else does, but um, but you get the idea. I, like. 
I had um, I had probably modified, so actually this is a BSPWM um, module, yeah, so anyway, the config that I have here works, I think, so let me go ahead and hit uh, Super Shift R to restart, and there it is, there's my poly bar. Um, yeah, everything works on it. This is, man, I'm digging this. Yeah. Okay, I am done with this. I'm really gonna like enjoy uh, trying this out a little bit further, and I might even do another video once I put it on my ultra wide. Um, so thanks a lot. I know this is a lot to like. If you've if you're watched it throughout, I appreciate it. I really do. It was a long one, and uh, and thank you. And leave comments. Subscribe. Thanks.